Hello and welcome to part 8 in uh, our Blender series on building a 3D game. Right now you should have uh, a model set up, uh, a game where you can rotate the mouse and the camera moves with it. I can hold down the mouse button. I can launch items um, by using W, S, A, and D. I can move back and forth. All right, And that's where we're at right now. We're going to add a scoring system in this video. And the first step is to add some sort of a target. All right, I'm going to hit Shift S and I'm going to snap my cursor to the back of the model. Now I'm launching spheres from this side over here, and so I'm going to put um, my target behind the blocks because we're going to try to make it uh, kind of challenging to hit this. Now, every time a sphere hits the target, we're going to register a point. So the goal um, for this particular level will be um, to hit the target uh, directly with the sphere. All right. Um, now, if you're watching this on the YouTube channel, you won't have access to this, but uh, in class, we've got a model archive. I'm going to choose File, Import. You can really use anything you want. You could use the monkey head, whatever. Um, a cylinder, something simple. Um, I'm going to import an OBJ file. It's the second one from the bottom um, there under Import. And uh, I'm going to go to, okay, under Network Drives in my class, Students, Bet Classes, Blender Resources, we have a Blender Models um, folder. I'm going to go to Furniture, and I'm going to go for the TV. The TV has a nice small value, 74 kilobytes. If you try to pick something that's too big, 2.7 megabytes or 5.8 meg megabytes, things may slow down a little bit. So I'm going to try to pick a nice small model. Feel free to incorporate anything into your game that you want uh, for scenery. That's fine. This will be a target. This will be a little TV back here. It works for our purposes. Uh, I'm going to position it behind my model, and we're going to add uh, a property. Uh, we're going to add, well, not a property, but uh, we're going to, I'm going to right-click on the part that I, I want to make the main target, and we're going to add a collision sensor. Um, so I'm going to select collision on the left. I'm going to select an AND gate, okay? And in this case, we're going to select for, on the right, we're going to select motion. No, we're not. We're going to select message, okay? Um, so I'm going to connect the dots, and then we'll look at what we have. All right, uh, so we've got, we are detecting collision with this particular, anytime anything hits it. We've got an AND gate. All right, and we're going to broadcast a message every time there's a collision. And the subject, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to write the word hit count. And just to be safe in the body, I'm also going to go ahead and write hit count. Okay, um, now, so every time this thing gets hit, it's going to send out a message. Now, if we leave the to field blank, it will broadcast a message to all other objects in the game. And that's fine. That'll work great for us. Um, we're going to catch this message by another object and keep track of how many messages um, are received. And based on the number of collision messages that are sent, we're going to be able to keep track of uh, how many times this thing has been hit. Okay, so let's set up a, re uh, a receiver. I'm going to put the cursor anywhere. I'm going to click Add Empty. And this will be our message receiver. So under Sensors, I'm going to go, um, we're going to set up uh, Message on the left. and then and all right and now on the left we're gonna go to add game property this is where we're gonna keep track of how many messages have been received uh, I'm gonna name this property um, HC for hit count and instead of floating point I'm going to choose integer okay so I've got a game property that is an integer and it's called HC so now over here where it says add actuator I'm going to choose property and it's set by default to assign, but we're going to change that to add. And if I click here now, it's going to, in the list, you'll see HC. And the value we're going to add every time there's a collision, or every time a collision message is received, we're going to add 1 to the value of HC. Over here where the messages are in the subject, we're going to have to type uh, what message uh, it's going to be looking for when it increments this value. 
and the message it's sent out is hit count. Okay, so that message, that uh, subject matches the subject of uh, the message that's uh, being sent. So this receiver will catch that message and add one to the value of hit count. Okay, let's go up here where it says, and we can sort of see how this works. We're going to choose game, and then show debug properties. And uh, down here where the game property is, this HC, this hit count, I'm going to click the I, all right, and that's going to uh, print the debug property for this. Okay, so I'm going to look through the camera now. And if I hit P to play the game, in the left corner there, you can see empty.001.hc equals zero. That's our initial um, hit count value. But as we register collisions with the television, that hit count value is incremented by one. All right, but we got a problem. Watch this. I'll hit it again. Maybe. There we go. I hit it again, but it did not increment. Now, that's because we have a block that's sort of resting on our target object. And when there's an object that's resting on it, it that collision, it sort of blocks other collisions from being registered. So we want to minimize that possibility. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this, our target, so that on the left, where it says property, we're going to say, OK, we want to register collisions, and we want to send out a message. But we're only going to do that when the object that collides with our target has a property called ammo. OK? It will ignore all other collisions except for objects that are specifically tagged with the property ammo. So let's go over to our layer 2. And I'm going to right click on my sphere. And we're going to add a game property. And we're just going to call this ammo. So now we've tagged this sphere with the correct game property. And let's go back into our game. And let's see if we can't get some sphere collisions registered. I'm going to go ahead and look through the camera and play the game. All right, there's one hit, one, two, three. And there we go. That, that bounced off of it seven times, OK? And you can see that the hit count between those two spheres, there were nine hits, OK, because it bounced off of it several times. So it is working, and it is registering every time a sphere hits the target. That HC counter is being incremented. So um, if you are set up and you are registering collisions with uh, the sphere that you're throwing at your target, we are all set, and we're ready to move on to the next video.